everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm here to share with you the new kits and add-on stamp sets from Studio Calico, and today is August 1st, 2023. There's a lot to share, so we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start with the add-on stamp sets. We have a few book stamps, which are my favorite. So this one is all about books, and you have like the little book club. This is perfect for my book club. If you're not a part of my book club, it's always linked in the description box for you. And then we have the Fiction Addiction, Currently Reading, Get Lost in a Good Book, Little Book Stack, really, really cute. This one is definitely my favorite. I love the heart with the book lover. And then you have the book stacks that you can use the filler to color in. I'm really liking this one. I love the book was better and then booked for the season. I read past my bedtime. So adorable. Really excited for that. And by the way, there is some six by eight book themed uh, paper, which I will be sharing in a little bit as well. Then you have this really fun pattern stamp. Really liking the numbers. That one's really pretty in that rainbow. Really liking that. Those are really good for like um, layering your photos or even like stamping in between your collages. That's what I would usually use that for. Then we have a birthday stamp set. Love my birthday stamp sets. As you guys know, I have a big family and there's always a birthday to celebrate. So we have the celebrate good times come on. A time to celebrate, party time, let's party. And then you can use these circles to create those happy faces. Really adorable. This one's another favorite. It has the days of the week and you can use this in your planner. I'm so excited for this. So I really like the do this with the arrow and it can point to the box. And then you have rise and shine, appointment, hello weekend. I'm so excited for this. I'm definitely going to be using this in my planner setups. This would be so much fun and I love the font. And then we have an alpha stamp. The outline for the alpha is so cute. I don't know if you can see that, but it has patterns in there. So, so good. And I really like the size. This would fit nicely in my daily journal and also perfect for titles for my layouts. So those are the add-on stamp sets. I did want to share with you the new 6x8 book themed paper It'll work perfectly with these new stamps. Like I said, there is some six by eight book themed pattern paper. We have some cutouts. These are going to be so much fun to use on a book layout. So cute. Love the colors. And I believe the backside is just a simple pattern. Then you have like these also cutouts and you can use it uh, as one piece. But like I said, the backside is just colored pat uh, dotted paper. And I love the books. So pretty. I think I might keep these and use them in my book journal next year. We shall see. Um, but I'm so excited for these. You have some 4 by 6s 3 by 8s So adorable. Love this one. I love me a black background. Books to read. 3 by 4s You get so many different designs in this pack really adorable two by twos and then some patterns here book patterns take a look it's in a book love that i read past my bedtime i always do one more chapter more pattern and this one is my favorite Love this one so, so much. So excited for this pack of book-themed pattern paper. Okay, let's get into the subscription kits. This is the stamp subscription. Really adorable. I love these ovals. And then you can add some of those uh, icons in there. Or you can stamp a word or something. Little details. Living for today. Currently noteworthy. Kind of love this. The truth all of this and the icons you have a leaf and sun and hearts and a camera really cute subscription stamp this month i shared last month that they changed 
the packaging for their kits and I'm really loving the new packaging. I know a lot of people are kind of hating a little bit on the packaging because they like the plastic pouches, but why can I not open this? But I'm loving this. Check out the inside of this. So good. Come on, you can't beat that. I'm really, really liking the packaging. Uh, I'm going to cut this out. You can totally use this a background or even cut this and use it as an album as well. So many different ideas. Anyways, let's take a look at the documenter kit. So we're going to start with the little 3x4 stamp set. And this theme or this month, the theme is kind of all about back to school and things like that. So you have the pencil, which is so adorable. And then you have this little library card that you can stamp out and fill in the author, the date, and all that good stuff. And then back to school and book review. So you can kind of use that as your book review. You get the this pack of, uh, it's like a notepad and it is so good. I'm so excited for this. I think the shape is so unique and the colors are so me. It has that like matte blue and matte orange and green. Really, really cute. So you can use those as embellishments. You have a chipboard sheet. That is so cute. It has like the thunderstorm, but the like the lightning is a pencil. <laughs> I love that. And then you have the very best one, two, three, like a rainbow there. You got this and some pencils as well. So it's a mix of back to school and, you know, normal life. You get the August sheets with the circles and you have the crayons, back to school. And I love that again, the cloud with the lightning. This really beautiful green number sticker sheet. Love that green. Again, so my colors. And you get some chipboard stars. I don't know if we can see that. I think you can. Let's flip this over so you can see that. Again, the colors are gorgeous. And I love the style of those stars, even though I'm not a star person. And then you get some labels, two sheets of those. And let's take a look at the cards because the cards are so good. And they're always my favorite in the documenter kit. Okay, as always, I have some favorites. And by the way, I always flip them to the side that I think I would use or I like the most. Love that. Love this. The cards and colors this month are just gorgeous. Really like that one. That one's cute too. There's some back here. This one is so good. Really like that pencil. That one's adorable. There's so many. I... Like, I'm loving all of them. <laughs> Love the colors on this one so, so much. There's some really good um, cards in here. And this one is so good as well. So cute. And the school buses. I don't have kids in school anymore, but I'm going to figure out a way to use this. Anyways, that is the documenter kit. Let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so the Traveler's Notebook came in the same packaging, and this time I was better at opening the packaging. So I'm definitely going to be using that for something. Anyways, let's take a look at the kit. So the 3x4 stamp set is so cute. It's book-themed. You have the book stacks, currently reading, book club, 
and then you can build your own little book. So cute. You get some washi tape and I am in love with this washi tape. The color, the style, it is a favorite, you guys. Look how cute that washi tape is. I'm so, so excited for it. Can't wait to use it in my creative journal and in my daily journal because that is the cutest. You also get the stars as well, just like the documenter kit. You get some number stickers and I love that matte muted pink. Really good. Some puffy stickers, I believe two sheets. Yes, they're the same exact thing. And it's book themed. So you have some glasses, some books on the next chapter. Love this one. So cute. And currently reading. This one is going to be so much fun to use in my traveler's notebook. Then you get those labels again. So you get two sheets of those. Let's take a look at the traveler's notebook. Okay, got some favorites, and they're basically the same favorites from my documenter kit. Love this one. Love the glasses. This one is so pretty, and I'm so excited that they added this to the Traveler's Notebook. This was the 4x6 card in the documenter kit. Really like that pencil pattern. I think I'm going to keep this one to use it once my kids go back to college or when Sabine starts classes in college and stuff. Love the yellow chairs. That's such a fun design. Trying to figure out what I'm going to use this pattern for. Um, I could totally use it to document like my favorite spot, which is my little chair in my library room. So maybe, or my couch, basically. We shall see. Love that one too. There's some really good ones. That one's so pretty. And that one's so fun, especially if you have kids going back to school. Anyways, oh, and that one, love the color combo. Anyways, as you guys know, I trim down my traveler's notebooks and use them in my disc bound traveler's notebook cover. I find it to be easier to flip through and to work in. So we shall see, I will be working in my traveler's notebook today. I might just cut this down and use one of these beautiful patterns to document a special moment. So if you wanna see how I use my traveler's notebook kit today, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my traveler's notebook. So I already took my traveler's notebook apart. Let's remove the staples and I really like the rainbow pattern. So I'm gonna end up using that to document what I'm currently reading. I printed a photo, I think it was probably four by four, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna use one of those puffy stickers to add right at the top of my photo. I don't really like the circle. I'm gonna end up changing my mind later. But for now, I keep it as it is. I'm gonna use one of the stamps that says currently reading. I want to use it to go around the arch of my rainbow. So to do that, I had to trim my stamp in half. I do this all the time. It will not ruin your stamp and you can always put it back together if you wanna stamp it as it was. But I'm gonna use the stamp to add currently reading going around my rainbow arch and I love how that turned out. I also wanna add a list of what I'm currently reading. So I went back to the puffy stickers and I used one of those green ones. I think it had currently reading, I'm not even sure. But I don't really like it and I'll end up changing that as well. But for now, I'm going to use the labels to house my currently reading. I'm going to use the number stickers that came in the kit to add color and help my journaling pop a little bit. So I just end up using one, two, three. Now I printed my titles on matte sticker paper. I always get asked about this matte sticker paper that I use. It's always linked in my Amazon storefront. So as I was adding my list of titles, I was thinking of my rainbow. 
It is beautiful, but it needed some color. So what I decided to do is go back to those puffy sticker sheets and use all the pens and pencils that were on those sheets to fill in the arches of my rainbow. I love how this turned out. It was such a smart idea because I didn't want to color in the rainbow. Now you could definitely, but I felt like I wanted to use some of my embellishments. And I say this all the time. Yes, I did use a lot of puffy stickers on one sheet, but I'm okay with that. I'd rather use it on my layouts than not use it at all. So it doesn't matter if you used a hundred on one layout or you used one on one layout, as long as you use them. So anyways, I'm really happy that I decided to do this. I even used some of the stars to fill in the gaps and it looked really, really cool. Now that I'm done with that, I go back to that circle puffy sticker, which I mentioned earlier and I didn't like. I'm going to switch it out with a square one. I feel like the color fit better and it just fit in much better than the circle. And I will also add some star chipboard from the kit to my titles. Instead of that green puffy sticker, I'm going to use the stamp set that came with the kit to add on my nightstand instead. And then I call my layout done. Don't forget today is release day at Studio Calico. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!